Hi, it's Rebecca Cook from Saddle Fit Simplified. I've been a horse professional for over 30 years, and in that time, I've had a lot of horses come into my life. And I thought I'd share um, uh, just a few of those horses. One of them was Delight, and she was a Fjord I used in my hippotherapy program. And she had a build that was short-backed and um, slightly hollow-backed a little bit of a sway to her back. And that created a saddle fitting challenge um, for me. Now there, that's what all of the horses that I'm gonna share with you um, have some kind of a challenge for saddle fit. And I'm doing this video just to help give you an awareness if you happen to be purchasing a horse. Um, there are some horses that are naturally just really easy and can wear almost any saddle. I mean. Yes, they have sizes like we have shoe sizes, but they can get those saddles that are right off the rack and they are just fine with them. But there's other horses that you end up searching and searching and going through so many different trials to find the right saddle that'll work or so many different saddle pads. And you can save yourself some grief if you look for those issues when you're buying a horse. Um, but if you already have the horse, well, just know that you're not alone in having fit issues. So the short-backed horse and the horse that has a sway back is a saddle fitting issue. I had another horse um, named Amos, and Amos was an Arab um, and uh, Morgan Cross. And just another sweet horse. I used him in my driving program for therapy and also as a, a therapeutic riding horse. And um, Amos had a club foot on his right and his right shoulder was correspondingly narrow so it was it was more upright the left shoulder was bulged out more and that's pretty typical of a club foot that your shoulders will be different sizes and he also was like riding a couch he was very round and so he did not have a really defined wither and that is that round build that really wide horse um, and the horse with a club foot um, is another saddle fitting issue and really look at your horses when you're going to buy them just look at them from the front on level ground and notice um, are their knees even do they have a club foot um, what does their back shape look like um, and I have another horse um, uh, that was named Mark and Mark was a thoroughbred and he had this really tall rafter wither that went way back into his back and finding a saddle he wasn't a narrow horse though he just had that really big wither um, and he also had hollow spots when I got him right at the side of his withers so we had to be really creative in finding saddle pads that would work for him um, because he yeah like I said he wasn't a narrow horse he actually had a medium build but we had to clear that wither so that the saddle didn't create um, pressure spots on his withers and oh Another horse I have um, that was used for therapy and therapeutic riding, um, Nikki. And Nikki was a paint uh, cross horse, and um, she was such a, a beautiful um, red roan, um, such a, a pretty girl with these splotches of white. And she had a confirmation that was butt high. And so because of that, the saddle tended to go forward into her elbows and create um, a situation where she would be more on the forehand when she was wearing the saddle. And we had to be really conscious of fitting her so that we didn't get um, pressure pushing into her shoulders. So those are just some hints for confirmation issues for saddle fit. And I'll review those really, again, short-backed horses, horses with a sway back, horses that are really wide and round, horses without much withers, horses with club feet, horses with those big, tall rafter withers and the hollowed out spots beside the withers, and then the downhill but high build on horses. Those can all be saddle fitting challenges that can cause um, saddle soreness issues to watch out for. And those are some just some saddle fit simplified tips for today.